Hey guys, and welcome to the FIFA 16 Foot Draft Challenge. You guys seem to love these. Uh, so I'm going with the top cone of the last draft for what one I should do today, and that is the tallest draft. So basically, when the five players pop up, I have to pick the guy that is the tallest out of those five, and that is how I make my team. That's just in case you've seen one of these before, but if you have, you know the drill, and let's get into it. So, formation, what do I like out of these? Um, 4 3 one, two could work nicely. Yeah, let's go 4 3 one, two. Right, so tallest players only out of these. Ronaldo, you are tall. How tall are you? So, Wayne Rooney, really? five foot nine, six one, five nine, six, six two. Fuck's sake, could have got Ronaldo, but instead, we've got team of the year, Paul Poggy. Now, I'm a bit worried because he is a Serie A player. And for some reason, the draft, you need to get Spanish League and BPL. So, finding Kem with this guy might not be the easiest thing to do, but we'll try our best. All right, let's just link up to striker here. Tallest, remember, tallest. It's Lewandowski or Kane. Six one, five eleven, six one, six two. Oh, okay. Okay, so now I didn't set a rule for what happens now. So both Mandzukic and Harry Kane are 6'2". Typically, I go with the highest rated player out of the two of those, and that makes sense to me. So that is Mandzukic. And to that off, perfect link with Paul Pogba because obviously Juve. Right, our other striker. How tall can you be? We've got Kane again. Right, Griezmann, you're obviously small. 6'1 again, Martinez. 6, Kane 6'2". Sturridge is 6'2". I wouldn't have thought that Sturridge was 6'2", you know? So we go highest rated, and that is Sturridge. That's all right, it's decent. Okay, Cam. What we got today? Oh, none of these are too tall. Uh, Cazorla, 5'6", 5'9", 5'7", 6 foot Meza Ozil. Yeah, and Valbuena is only 5'6". So Meza Ozil goes there. Okay, okay, okay. Right, who's going to cut a pull pop by in the centre of the pitch? Oh, Yaya, I'm going with a guess of. Okay, 5'7", 5'9", 5'10", 5'9", and then, yep, Yaya is 6 foot 2. So we've got a nice little BPL bit forming here. Hopefully this guy can be BPL as well. I don't know, like Henderson, 6 foot, 5'10", 6 foot, 6 one. And six foot, okay, so Zaka. So I guess like quite a close variant of Zerka there, but Zaka, he plays in the Bundesliga. I'm guessing he's going to be a sub for me. Right, let's go for our right back. Can we get a Serie A right back? Zabaleta, 5'10", 5'8", six foot Mykon, six foot Piszczek. Oh, God, Piszczek would be better than Mykon, wouldn't he, for fuck's sake, because that would be Serie A as well. We have to go with Piszczek, because that is the rules. Highest rated player, Piszczek, there you go. And let's get some really tall centre-backs. Come on, come on. Ooh, Godin, please. Six foot three. Three, Benatia. Six foot, six two. Golden six one. We've got Benatia. Six foot three, mate. No one is scoring headers against me, hopefully. And hopefully I'm the one scoring the headers. All right, come on. Six foot one, Godin. Six foot, six foot, six three, Hummels. Oh, God. Right, Hummels could work, though. Could link up with Pizchek here nicely. Obviously, Dortmund. Can we get... Oh, and he links up with Zaka there as well. Right, Gollum, six foot two, five foot eight, five ten, five ten. Kurzawa, six foot. We've got six foot two. We got Gollum. My pressure. I need Simon here. Simon can do a good impression of Gollum, but I can't. Right, goalkeeper. Give me a nice big tall goalkeeper. Here we go. Six foot five, six foot, six two, six two, six four. Butland is six foot five. You know, six foot five, mate. Okay, right. So that's the main team done. Now we got into our subs. This is where hopefully get some good players come in. Right, let's go through these. Six foot four, six foot five, six foot. Four, six, three, six, four. There's a six, five there, wasn't there? There we go. Silver or Vandalier. Vandalier. Who we got here? Who we got here? Trippier's in my packed out series. How tall are you though? You're five ten, five ten, six one, Barzagli, five seven, and five ten. So we're gonna get a lot of boring players, because there's always gonna be the players that like, in the center of the pitch are gonna be tall. Like the center back, center mids, I'm gonna be the tall players. That's what I was always gonna get. There's an option for winger, I'm just not gonna get them. But I guess it doesn't really matter because I have no wingers in my side. Okay, some more wing backs here. Five eight, five eight, five nine, five eleven, and five ten. So Paolo da Silva. I mean, I'm just not going to use you at all, am I? That's just not going to happen. Come on, next one, anyone? Oh, Sun? Sun's tall. 5'11", 5'8", 6'1". Sun is six foot. Fuck. 5'10". So you have to go with Gabbiadini. He was in my packed out series last year, I think. Maybe another year. I don't know. One of the years. He was in there one of the years. All right, anyone else? Anyone else? Shakira, you ain't going to get, are you? So 5'7", 5'9", 5'10", 6'2", and 5'10". Joshua Guilavogui. Moving on. Oh, I saw an Neymar, but it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen, is it? Neymar's not tall enough. 5'9", 5'11", 5'11", 6'2". Karim Benzema, 6'2". Doesn't link up with anyone in my side at all, though. But it's a nice super sub to bring on, I guess. I could take him off of Mandzukic. Take him on Mandzukic. Oh, Gareth, please be tall. Hulk is 5'11". 6' Martinez. 5'11", Di Maria. Ready for it? Bale is 6'. Yeah! 
Gareth Bale is mine. Okay, right. Against, okay, just these ones don't matter at all. Five nine, six foot, five nine, six foot four. Okay, six four. Diego Angelo. I'm gonna speed for these reserves. Come on, let's get some sick players here in the last bit. No one there. Five eleven, six three, five eleven, five four, five eleven. Benucci. Now that is a nice link to Paul Poggy, but you got the Pish Check and Hummels link up there. Come on, anyone? Oh, a nice little orange. Five eleven, five eleven, five ten, six two. We got a nice little orange in our side. It's nice to have that on the bench. You're not gonna use him. It's nice to have an orange player. Here we go. Hernandez, your small five nine. Kone is six foot. Martinez is six foot. Oh, so is it Kone or Martinez? And it is Martinez. And our last player of the draft. Who's it gonna be? Just, just no, no one at all. Five nine, five ten, five eleven, five eleven, five nine. So out of those two, he's rare. So Mina, Mina is Mina. He's mine now. I'm trying to make a joke here. We're going to move on. It didn't happen. Just going to move on. Right, so I think I'm happy with this side right here. Now, I tried to find the meet, like the balance between the best chemistry and the best side. So I've gone with this one. Obviously, I've got the nice Serie A left-hand side. And I've put the two Real Madrid players together, Bale and Benzema. Like, it's hard not to play them. And then you've got Ozil and Torre in the centre. Obviously, then Barzag links up. Uh, on that part of that Serie A bit there, but he's got a nice little link uh, with Pogba. And then you've got Hummels and Piszczek on the right-hand side, and then Butland's just out of place on his own in goal. Because I haven't got a goalkeeper uh, that actually works there. What's the other options I could have done? I could have put Benucci here instead of Barzagli, but I like Barzagli more. Put Benucci here, uh, and I've got then like four Juve players on the left-hand side, and I get those four green links like this. But I lose one chem, and obviously I'm playing Benucci out of position. Uh, so I might as well go with Gollum. And there's obviously a few different changes I can make. I probably can put Gabbiadini at Cam and get some, yeah, get three more Cam. But I'd rather have Meza Ozil there, I think. Well, I don't know, actually. Gabbiadini is pretty sick. Maybe we could bring on Ozil. That extra Cam could help quite a lot, you know. Maybe Gabbiadini there. Nice little sharpshooter edge of area. And I think that, oh yeah, I'm going to go with that. That's my final side. Some of you guys may disagree with it and think other sides. That's what I've gone for. If I lose first round, then I know it's my fault. And obviously I could have done something better. I don't know. 80 chemistry. Let's get into it. What's our final rating here? We've got a final draft rating of 165. Could be better. So we have our first opponent of the draft. He's got a Bundesliga side. 92 chemistry. Pretty crazy actually looking at it. Oh my God. It could be a lot better. That's what I'm going to say. But I've got a feeling he's got some sneaky subs on the bench that he's going to bring on. That's what worried about. But you know what? We got this. Right, let's go. Let's see how this team plays. It's quite interesting because everyone in my team is pretty darn tall. So it should be pretty like a, quite a good physical side. But will it suit how the way I play? Oh yeah, that's nice. Go on. Gabbiadini, you ready? And Gabbiadini scores in 1 minute 55 seconds. And I've been proven right as to pick Gabbiadini over Meza Ozil. Good old Gabbiadini, man. Can't go wrong. I've been playing some crazy, crazy good FIFA recently. Don't know why. Somehow I've just got a lot better at the game, I think. All well, this new patch has helped me. Got a free kick. Now, this could be interesting for me because I've got a very tall team. And hopefully one of them just get ahead on it. Go on. Okay, it was straight at the goalkeeper. Poor free kick on my half. And the one issue with having very tall defenders is they're usually pretty slow and sluggish. Well, Paul Parker is back there for me. Look at that. Where was Gollum when you needed him? Uh-oh, double cross Eddie area, please, no! Oh my god, he would bang that in, wouldn't he? Jack Butland, where was you, man? Get your hand to that, it's easy save. You've missed it, he's back in the game to make it one all. Yeah, and he's come back into it. Ever since I scored, he's got back into the game, not gonna lie. Our team's a bit slow and sluggish, which I guess you could expect from a pretty tall side. I don't play the fastest of football, so it shouldn't matter too much. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. My defense got missing and Royce is there and Royce makes it 2-1. Oh my God, that turnaround straight away. I might make a change already right here. So there's a couple of things I like about like this side already and that's Mandzukic. He's just a, just not my kind of player. So I may move Bale up there, swap those two round, uh, take off Mandzukic and then if we bring on Zaka there, that could work. And I may change defenders because Gollum has gone missing twice and, my, and Pichet was missing there as well. So I might put Benucci at left back. My defense is just really poor in this side. I don't know why. It just it seems like so bad. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Right, here we go. Oh gosh, oh golly. Paul Poggy. That's a nice little clearance. Hopefully, get your head up. You've missed the ball. It's all well and good having tall players, but they can't even head the ball. It's useless. Benzema breaking through. Have a shot. It's got a cross goal, but it's a poor shot. It's off balance. Not a stroke of half time, so I just tested my luck with a shot, hoping that something would happen. But it looks like we're going to go to half time, losing 2-1. Zaka's there, go on, Zaka makes it 2 all. He made an absolute mess of that there. Zaka breaks through, um, loses the ball, and then he puts him under pressure. He passes the ball back to his goalkeeper, which you'll see right here. And his goalie just, you know, he just got the e aids right there, didn't he? He just got screwed over. But I will take it, I will happily take that. I needed that goal. Hopefully I can now capitalize on that goal and try and get the lead. Right, let's try and use our height here. Got a nice free kick again. 
Swing it in. Get your head at someone. Just, how have no one got the head on that at all? And my defense is missing again. What is this defense? Stop going missing. Why are they missing all the time? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Come on, Benzema. Do something, please. Benzema, do something, please. There's your time. Your time has shined. And you've done it. 3 2 up. Taking the lead. Capitalize on that second goal we got. We've taken the lead now. Let's hold on and do it. Gabbiadini is honestly the best player in the side so far. Zaka, go have a shot, mate. Oh, we had a shot. And it was saved one handed by Adler. Last 50 minutes of the game. Just got to keep holding on. It's our first corner. Look at that top left stat. That's a rare one. Go on. Use it. Zaka, bang it. That was it. That was it. Just needed a deflection to come to our play. And I had it, but I didn't. Oh, yeah. The play was beautiful. Benz, but I finished that. Don't know why I tried to finesse it from there. That was quite a stupid angle trying to finesse it from, but I did. No, the play was beautiful from him. Cannot take that away from him. That's a beautiful, beautiful play from Ribéry. Held the ball there. Just completely done me over. Oh, he skipped, you know, he skipped the replay. He wasn't impressed by his own play. I was pretty sick, if you ask me. He's back in the game. Ten minutes to go. Go on, go on. Here we go. Gabbiadini, please. Left, left. Finesse. Oh, that was a stupidly shit by me. Yo, yeah, sorry. Play across. What's... The ball ended up in his hands. I don't know what happened, but the ball ended up in the goalkeeper's hands. That's obviously not what I wanted. And he's on the counter-attack, which is where he's been scoring his goals. Get the fuck back. No, 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 no. Thank you. Wow, easy, Tiger. Oh, Bale. He sold him. He sold him a dream. Run, Bale. Run. Get him away, you little prick. Oh, for God's sake. I can't get the final touch and the final pass to score a goal. It's the one thing where my team's lacking, I think, is the, the strike force of this team. It's just not good enough. i got Bale and Benzema right now, and it's just not good enough. And that is full time. We've drawn the game free all, so now we're going to extra time. It's been an interesting one. It's a close game. Make some subs. I guess I'll bring on Benucci for Gollum back here, because you're tired. First half of extra time. Come on, let's do something here, boys. Offside, but nice play and nice finish. <laughs> for God's sake. Come on, please, just score a goal. Why? Every time offside. Just... Oh, for God's sake. That was it. That's it. That's the one. That's the one. Take it on your stride. Nice. Benzema. Keep running. Keep running. Finesse that. Woo! Benzema is there. Thank God you're good at finessing. 4 3. First half of extra time. 98 minutes in. Benzema scores again. Just got to hold it this time. Come on. Bale's on the run. Go on, side. Keep going. Keep going. He's in the box. Oh, Bale. Bale finished. There we go. He makes it 5 3. Lovely run from Gareth Bale. Bale. So I keep, so basically, I always say Gareth Bale. Or you say Gareth Bale. And you guys mug me off. Simon that used to say it to me all the time that I said it wrong. So I've, been, I've been, like, trained myself to say Bale. And now in my head it now sounds weird. Gareth Bale. It's fine. Got it. Oh no, don't make it 5-4. Oh, he's made it 5-4. I don't want... I had the two goal lead. That two goal lead was good. It was comfy. I could sit there and chill. And now I can't chill again. I'm back to where I was. Go on, Bell. Finish that. There we go. 6-4. Straight back at him. 10 goals in the first game of the draft. Mental. So that's the first half done. I'm going to make some quick, quick subs if I can. Because Torre is dying out there. So let's move Pogba back to there. And let's just bring on Meza Ozil here. No, he's made it 6-5. Are you serious? This is a joke. How? His running is sick. This guy's ability to run with the ball is so good. Or well, my defense is just shit. I don't know what it is. No one normally scores five goals against me. Jesus. Here goes Benzema. Breaking through. His defense is tied as fuck. Benzema. You've missed. That could have been it. That could have been seven. And it would have been fine. It would have been fine. It would have been game over, probably, anyway. But no, we've got going to last six, five, five, six minutes of this game. With only a one goal lead. Gabbiadini, our star man. Look, break it into the box. Plays it across. Playing across doesn't work. Why do I keep trying to do it? It doesn't work. And there we go. That is finally full time. We've won that game. Was it 6-5 or was it more? I think mean, it was 6-5. Jeez. Well, that was a good game to start the draft on. Let me just check some work rates back here. Because saying it weren't right. So yeah, Gollum was on a high slash medium. And he's high slash high. You're high slash medium. And you're low slash high. So you need to get you out of here. Benucci, I'm guessing, hopefully you've got, yeah, a medium. That'll work nicer for me. Because my defense disappears. It just goes. It just literally disappears out of here. Um. 
now I might do the same again as last game. Mandzukic started off pretty poorly, didn't do anything. Um, and I brought on that Zaka guy, absolutely amazing player. Gabini was sick the whole game. Bale came into it more later in the game when I moved into striker because he's not exactly useful there, is he? Let's start with that team again and we'll do the same changes and hopefully we can win again. So we're into our second game of the draft and that is pretty sick side. 4 4 1 1 formation. Neymar, Ronaldo. Uh, so they're the two scary ones. Obviously, Noor Benzema up there. The rest of him isn't actually that scary looking at it. I mean, he's got a left back and a right mid at centre back. Got 74 chemistry. He's beatable. Let's make this one a lot easier. Last game he struggled. I'm not struggling again. I want a nice, easy victory. Look, down the line, put a good cross in, and he went for the bicycle kick. I don't know why, but he did. Oh, here we go. The play's beautiful. Gabby Dini's there, and he misses. He's given the first person to score again for me, like the last game, but no, he puts it wide. Benzema with a bang. Oh, it was a lovely turn, but Loris was there to save it. I might take off Mandzukic already. I'm just not the biggest of his fans. Like, I really just don't think he's that good of a player on this game. Let's try a nice little corner tactic, though. Goalie's gone out for it, but he's got to it. Ugh, the goalies get to every corner. Anyone in the comments, let me know what corner tactics you do that you think work for you. Because I've always been like messing about with corners. I haven't really found a tactic that works for me consistently. So I like this tactic. I do this. And I just like, that was terrible. That wasn't a tactic. But you got the drift of what I normally do. You know what I normally do. Here we go. Mandzukic, prove your worth to me. Because I don't really like you that much. But okay, that was my bad. But you still proved your worth. I actually really fucked up with that with the shooting. But he still scored it. So 1-0 and Mandzukic has proven himself, I guess. Mandzukic, prove your work! Wow, you just banged that miles wide. I probably should have taken a touch first, but the goalie was coming out fast, so I just didn't know he was going to get to me in time. God, wasted chance again. Here we go, Mandzukic, come on. Go on, son, here we go. Lob through ball, look. That was a lob through, worked, it worked, no, it didn't. That was a lob through ball, guys, an actual lob through ball. I press LB and Y, and that's what he produced. Pogba with a bang! Straight into Loris's hands. What is it with my shooting and going straight into the goalkeeper's hands? Bale, go on, son. That's a great run, but he went straight into his hands. Like, seriously, man. I've done everything, and I've shot, and he went straight into his hands. I'm going to make some substitutions in a second, because I don't think Mandzukic is still that good. I'm not playing the best of football. I mean, like, from what I'm used to, Gabbiadini. Straight at the goalkeeper. I need to learn how to aim, apparently. Maybe that's what it is. But yeah, compared to normal, not playing amazing football. So we swap Mandzukic and Bale around, and then Mandzukic will come off for Zaka, because Zaka was sick last time. And then I might move Paul Poggy to there. And I might put Meza Ozil over here. There we go. No! Oh my god, no, 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 no. Get to the ball, get to the ball. Oh my god, oh my god, thank you. Pitch checks running, he's into the box. Finesse that! Just didn't even shoot, just like pulled your leg back and left it there. Gabbiadini started a show again. Look at him go. Plays a beautiful ball over to his Pogba. And there it is, 2 0. Gabbiadini involved again. Like, it's just too good. You don't need these star players in FIFA. You need the players that play well. 90th minute, he's running in with Neymar. Piszczek's tired as fuck. He's going to score that. This is basically his best chance of the game. Obviously, he scored it. But yeah, it just ran with Neymar. My defence was absolutely knackered. And he's pulled it back to make it 2-1. Luckily, I got that second goal not too long ago. And there we go. That is full time. A much more boring game compared to last one. But we still got the job done. Into our third game now of the draft. And this is a scarier side now. So we've got team of the year Neymar again. We've got inform Gareth Bale. And then we have inform Higuain uh, at striker. So 4-3-3. Three, three. Formation I don't like playing against too often. We've got Busquets Iniesta. And I missed the third one. It's a pretty solid 4-3-3 three, three side he's got there. Oh, here we go. Here's a counter attack. Oh my god, what is that pass? Bale? Oh my god, how have, that, how have I wasted that? Like, so badly. What was the pass? Pogba's done him. Pogba, go on. Have a little finesse, edge of area. And it's just gone wide. I'm not the biggest fan of my side, I'm not gonna lie. We are in the third round, I know, but I'm not the biggest fan of it. Instantly, I might just go back and change and just do the same tactic again. No, 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 no. Save and a half. Oh my god, it's fell to him. Higuain scores. I can't believe I'm losing this guy. This guy's so bad. I already just like, I already sussed out his tactic with the whole game. That's a run with Neymar. And his, his Neymar will be knackered by half time the rate he's going at. But the fact that worked out for him is just stupid. Gareth Bale in the box. There we go. Lovely finish. Straight back in the game. One all. See, one of the things where like someone scores against you and then suddenly you take it very seriously again. Equalize straight away. I'm making sure I win this game. Like, I'm taking it seriously now. Good spot for a freaky edge area. Go on, Bale. Get nice and quick. Nice and quick. Nice and quick. Onto there. Just over. I hate I have to rush those free kicks so much as someone gets on the line. Saka, go on, put a good ball in. Back post, he's there. Oh, Kamini is there to save it. Benzema, finish that. There we go, 2-1. I need to get some more goals. This guy is up there. One of the most boring people I've ever played against in my life. He's so boring to play against. Just has nothing to offer 
a game. He somehow made a game that's supposed to be entertaining, just the most dull thing ever. Look, we've got to see him just watch him. He doesn't understand that you can skip replays or you can skip anything like this. He actually waits until the end every time to kick the ball. Every free kick he gets, every throw in he gets, he waits. What's he doing? What are you doing? Is he not playing now? Go on, I'll take that. 3 1. He did start playing, but I've scored anyway. 3 1. Yeah, can't hear you. Right, go on. Let's get him. Let's come on. Fourth goal. Let's get him rage quitting. Just get out of here. Look. Yeah, he's going for it quicker now, aren't you? No. Higuain. How has he scored two goals against me? He's done nothing all game. I don't understand this game anymore. No, no. No way. Is he. Thank God. Get up. Get up. Get up. Thank you, Jack Butland. Like, what is wrong? With this team. This defence just opens up so easily for him. It's, this guy's done nothing all game. He's been boring. And he's actually almost drawing with me. No game. I don't believe. I, I want to kill this guy. Like, honestly. You understand how infuriating this guy is to play against. And I have to do more against him now. I've got to play even more. He's somehow drawing free all with me. How is this happening? That's full time. We're drawing him free all. I don't understand. Like, ah, uh, it's been the most painful game to play and we still got to play more i don't want to play more all right get benzema off let's bring sturridge on try and get some pace up top we get urzil on for torre top those two round just do something in this this team please something's got to happen finish that oh my hit the crossbar just <laughs> please please game honestly i don't know where my defense has gone but neymar is on the run and he's if he scores from this I don't like this game anymore. Thank you. Ha! Uh, I, uh, no! Just what? Get me out of this game. He just ran the way with Coutinho. That was sick. Sick run. But I don't understand. Get, like, just give me out of this game. I've had enough. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. I'm just not surprised by this guy. See what I mean? The worst possible guy to ever play against in your life. Just look. I just don't want to play against this guy ever again in my life. Who, well, who is he? <laughs> who is he? Gareth Bale with a back heel. Could have been a sick goal, but his goalie saves it. Oh, for fuck. And he's going to the corner flag. Again, this guy is the biggest. Ah, oh, he just needs to die. And that is full time. I don't want to play draft anymore. This guy has made me not like this game at all. He's been that boring. Don't know how I've lost either. But God knows it's happened. He's worked out a way to beat me. And thank God. That's at least I've enjoyed FIFA in a long, long time. So what prizes do we get? A Jumbo Premium Gold Pack and a Premium Gold Pack. Let's see what we get in those. Uh, Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Are we going to get anything? Can you just give me something nice just to like sweeten that loss there? Ugh. No, you can't. And then a normal Premium Gold Pack. Anything in this one? Come on. Anything? 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 In. just packs just what are packs on this game really and truly what are packs on this game but that is it for today's episode i'm sorry it ended on such like a downer that guy you know like you ever have those games on fifa where it's painful to play because the guy is so boring you have to sit there for like it's taken like 40 minutes to play one game just because he sits there and watches every replay and you end up losing to him for no good reason i don't know why but yeah let me know in the comments what one i should do next and hopefully we can win the next tier i don't think that team was that good we got to the third round of it but it wasn't that good of a team to play who didn't play wasn't smooth didn't play that well uh, so hopefully we can think of one that plays better next time. Maybe passing. I might try passing. Passing could work. Passing one of the stronger parts of my game. Maybe the best passers all round. Let me know in the comments what idea I should do. And hopefully one of the top comments is one that I will do. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. I have no idea how this is going to work. He's got it done as well. Ready? Go on, Josh. Go on, Josh. Oh, oh, oh.